Okay. You better be prepared. Oh, uh, better be prepared. Oh, whoa. This is the way I have to turn to really take a turn. Whoa. So I'm getting the right, I'm heading the right way. It's saving. What's that noise? <gasps> How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and today's video is going to be on a VR set made by Destec and we're going to see what's inside of it and what it all does when it's all set up. So if you want to get one for yourself you can find it in the description down below. Inside of this contents we're firstly made with virtual reality glasses user manual and it has a little cleaning cloth. It's compatible with 3.5 all the way to 6 inch phones display wise. But let's look at this thing now. It looks pretty big. We're gonna see what this does. Oh, and this has a controller. So you're not just gonna have to move your head. You get a little controller to go with it. And we have a Destec NFC chip right here. Very nice. And that's it for the box. We also get a little baggy here, little sticky pads. Let's take out the VR set. Well, let's pop some of these. That made me gag. Kids, don't try that at home. And just holding this thing, it has really, really well made, like leathery, elastic headband here that will go on your head. I like that. And then the headset itself is plastic, but it feels pretty thick. It's, it's light, but it doesn't feel as cheap as you would probably think it's gonna be. Desk deck in the front. And then we have like, oh, whoa, look at that. Kind of pops out and in, that's totally different. And um, there we go, we popped that off. And we can see inside, and then here's where the foam will be able to sit inside. The so both sides will accommodate. Of course you wanna use the cleaning cloth to clean the screen off. You know what I mean? Now these little springs already have the little cushion there to protect the phone. So far I'm not liking, oh there you go. It's a little bit tough. All right, so now I can close out. Oh, don't get pinched in the back. Your phone is gonna be well off in there. They have little plastic covers. The mask is definitely gonna be soft. I've worn ones where they don't feel comfortable. They're just foam pieces. Look at the Pokeball. Zooms in and zooms out. What it does there, and then the focus, of course. Looking inside of the phone, you can see that's the headphone jack. So you do have this little port open so you can plug in your headphones if you would like, both sides. But now let's look at the remote here. Look at this thing. You got your toggle here, that's your X, Y, B, A, select start. Even a lanyard to it, there's a micro USB charging, and there's the power. I'll be able to play games. I can be moving around with this. That's a lot of difference. Getting closer to the VR games that we would like to, or what we would like to expect. Okay, so they're calling this the Super Bluetooth Game Controller. There's the user manual, how to hook it up. So this little indicator there, we're gonna hold start, and there we go, there's the Bluetooth. And just by having that blinking around like that, there's game player, I'm gonna select that. There it goes, connecting. And the beep is just my eight o'clock. Oh, there we go. So down, down, down. B for back. Nice. Let's go into press A. So now all we have to do is find a game that we can play virtually with. Oh yeah, let's check out the NFC chip here. And then it goes right to the NFC tools, which allows you to read, write, and programs tasks on NFC tags. I know how NFC tags work. So it's basically a free NFC tag that you can use. So I'm reading about the VR goggles here and it says it has 300 virtual reality apps in the Google Play Store and Apple App Store. And all you have to do is search for VR games and apps in 3D split screen. So we go to the cardboard. We want to download that one for sure. While that's doing that, let's type in Sinister Edge 3D Horror Game. Stunning graphics, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Incel VR cardboard game here, so pretty good reviews on it as well. Let's download that. All right, so I'll download around five apps to test this out, and I will open cardboard. But now that cardboard's installed, it detected the games that are available. There's more games and apps that you can try. Oh, look at that, it even gives you the look 
of what you're going to be pre-gaming with. Let's go to this side and look at that. It loads them up very nicely. They changed it big time since last time I remember. All right, so we're going to click on to hard cord. So I'm going to shut this up and I'm going to put this on my head. So we're going to feel it out. Let's take off the, this and see if my glasses, where people with glasses will be able to wear this. Ugh. No glasses, at least not those. Wow, this is so much more comfortable. And the lenses is clear. Let me focus to my eyes. Move it back more, move it forward. It's comfortable. I feel like the, the padding is definitely worth being on my face here. Okay, I'm definitely seeing the gameplay here. This is the way I have to turn to really take a turn. Whoa, jump up. I don't even know if I'm facing the camera, honestly. Woo, jump. Shoot, 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 shoot. Whoa. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Shoot this guy out. Ah, ah. Don't kill me. It just takes a little bit to reload. Okay, here we have another game. I can just set this. Virus detected, buckle up human. Now this looks really 3D. It looks like stuff is floating around. And a weird visual. That looks, whoa, I'm in a spaceship. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay. Better be prepared. Oh, better be prepared. Oh, whoa. Okay, and it also works with the gamepad, so I don't have to tilt my head around if I don't want to. I can just be tilting my head like this. Whoa! Watch it with the red stuff That's bad. That's too bad. Ooh, starting to get a lot faster. Let's not hit the red. The end was it's like a roller coaster ride. Uh -huh. The faster I tilt my head around. Nice work. Thank you. Now, this game is called Sinister Edge. I went to your apartment. Articles and scribblings on your walls. After five years of searching, we're all worried about you. You need help. Okay, so I'm looking around and make sure you have your gamepad and VR checked on. Yep, left, right, forward, and this is to look the different ways. And you don't have to use this little gamepad. You can use another, you know, Bluetooth controller. And this goes the direction that I'm looking at. Let's move away here. Yeah, okay, okay, I don't know what's that. It's a little, huh, a little coloring book. Whoa! Why is it shocking? Or thunder, lightning, thundering? So I'm just gonna keep walking. Ooh, whoa! It's a house here. Spooky house. Rocks. Oh! I can imagine listening to this game with headphones. I need a key, but I don't have a key. Okay, so I'll have to walk back this way. So if you're gonna be playing these games, you're either gonna be standing up or in chair like so. I can't open it. I need a crowbar. Let's go one more pass. Ah! Whew. Man, headphones would have scared me big time. Ooh. Okay, let's go in here. What's in here? Just green barrels. Another kid's color. Okay, thanks. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's the barrel. Okay, so I'm getting the right, I'm heading the right way. It's saving. What's the noise? Oh my God! What the heck? I that was creepy, because you feel like you're in this game, right? Bucket. There you go. So I'm gonna use this camera here instead, the one that's facing down. <laughs> and I'm liking this VR headset here. Oh, there we go, I'm opening it. I'm gonna break it. I broke it. Dead bodies down there? Well, oh, there's the key. Nice. Crows? Where? I just wanna open the door, one more door. Let's do it to it. So I've never played this game. This is like horse heads. Which door didn't open? This one, right? 
Oh. I need an eye socket for this weird creature thing. If you've never been into VR gaming or have you even thought about it, maybe it's time for you to try this game. Even if you're not playing VR, you can play this game without the VR headset. All right, so let me wrap this up. Now, I do like the comfort. It's very comfortable and it has a really good seal where I felt like I almost wanted to sweat in here. It is hot today. I like the little control that you have as well. I'll put my glasses back on. I feel like I can't really see. It doesn't have a latch, but it's like a magnet where it magnetizes itself to a little seal here. And the uh, phone doesn't want to fall out. Like it's kept in there pretty nicely. And again, if you ever get your you know, eyelashes are too dirty, you can clean these off. I like it. I really do. I like the previous one that I reviewed, but this one's even better. So if you want one for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it in the description down below. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later. <coughs> yeah, I've been sick. I, if you can tell, my voice is a little raspy. Look at that. It's like almost getting worse to a point because I'm using my voice a lot right now.